Hi, I'm Shannon Thornburg. Hi, I'm Neha Chaudhry. And we teach in the Electrical Engineering Department here at South Dakota Mines. If you decide to come to a double E in South Dakota School of Mines, we introduce you to the teamwork aspect, which will carry through your entire educational process here. And we emphasize that very strongly. And we also introduce you to another key component of our program, which is hands-on experience in the lab. Just about every course that you take in our electrical engineering program has an in-lab component where you will be building and testing and learning how things actually work in the real world. And that brings us to what is electrical engineering really? What is it all about? And first of all, engineering is about solving problems. That's what all engineers do. It's a very creative type of activity where we examine things that are happening in the world and try to come up with applying scientific and, and engineering principles to come up with real solutions that will actually work and, and help make people's lives better. Uh, this here is our flight simulator. Uh, the purpose of it, or uh, the purpose of a flight simulator is to simulate or mimic or copy what it's like to fly a real airplane. Uh, what this does is it helps uh, pilots get acclimated a little bit to what it's like before going up in the air. And then for us here at the School of Mines, we're able to work on a lot of the subsystems and such and just see how the whole machine fits together and, and work on our own individual components. Myself, for senior design, I was able to work with Garmin developing a traffic collision avoidance systems for us. So that was a really great project and happy to be a part of that and really grateful that they helped out. So that brings us to the next thing, what as an electrical engineer you are going to do at become, when you become an electrical engineer. You get to be maybe a communication engineer, you get to be maybe an aviation engineer, you get to be maybe an automation engineer. So there are different different fields which you can go with your electrical engineering degree. And the cool thing about uh, being part of South Dakota School of Mines, you get to do everything hands on. So when you go to your job and you go to your career, you already know what you're doing. At the graduate level, many of our students get to be involved in some very high tech, cutting edge research that they work with our faculty very closely. Uh, one of the sample areas where uh, students can be, become involved is, for example, applications and programming of drones, aerial drones. And Tanvir is one of our graduate students uh, who will show you one of the drones. What does a professor and graduate student do? They program these drones for the multiple different research projects. So one of the projects they were involved, they were looking, going around the agricultural field and it's really hard to go on and keep checking on if some of the cops are getting infected by some of the diseases. So it's so easy, like if you have these drones, they can roam around across the field and they can keep checking if, if your field is infected with some kind of disease or some kind of insect. So you know the local problem and then you can send, using the drones also, you can just spread the uh, disinfectant and you can save the land. Here we are going to see an anechoic chamber which means a noise-free environment to test antennas and wireless communication systems. So, let's come. So, as we can see that right now we are doing an antenna measurement. Of course, ideally we should not be here, but what are we doing here is we are testing if this antenna is radiating in a perfect way or not. And we do different kind of antennas and this is just showing like we are trying now getting a field pattern. We have about a hundred companies that come to South Dakota Mines to recruit from electrical engineering every year. And they come from a broad range of industries, some you might not think of as electrical engineering companies, but they have a strong need. We find that there's a strong demand for electrical engineering uh, graduates, for example, in the fields of manufacturing, agricultural processing, uh, transportation, uh, as well as what you might expect for electrical engineering, which would be more of the electronics, avionics, power generation, and communications, radio and, and communications industries. Our graduates um, that, that do get recruited by the different companies, our uh, starting salaries uh, are around $70,000 per year, and we have a 98% placement rate as an average over the last five years. And I would like to add on to that, Suppose you don't want to go to industry, we have accelerated master's program as well as PhD program also. We're here at a laboratory that's part of a company called Novum Nano. 
Novum Nano is a startup company that was created by Dr. Haiping Kong, who was working in the field of nanotechnology here at South Dakota Mines. And he started this company to commercialize some of that technology he developed so that he can take nanoparticles that have different properties and add them to other materials like lubricants and paints to improve the way they perform. For example, he's developed an electrically conductive paint that, for the Air Force that can be used on their aircraft to help protect them from lightning strikes while they're in the air. On these two devices, we're gonna be using uh, electronics to raise the voltage levels very high. When I turn it on, you'll see that the spark will start on the lower part and then propagate up and it breaks the circuit and then it starts over. Over here, we have a device called the Tesla coil developed by Nikolai Tesla, that he was part of the big battle between himself, a proponent of AC power, and Thomas Edison and his company who were proponents of DC power. So this was part of his fundraising pitch to his investors. The electric field is so strong that it will cause dielectric breakdown in these fluorescent light tubes. In other words, they'll start glowing without being hooked up to anything. We hope you've had fun learning a little bit about electrical engineering here at South Dakota Mines, but don't take our word for it. Come see for yourself. Schedule a visit to our campus and you can meet with us and our other faculty and see some of these cool things firsthand.